What's going on guys? Indy here with Ultimate Tool Reviews. And one thing I've always wanted to check out is the clutches on drills. Whether it's a hammer drill, a regular drill, a subcompact drill, which one works the best? Now, if you've seen the new Makita XGT drill, it has an electronic clutch now, so there is no clutch up here that's gonna be mechanical. It's gonna be instead a electronic shutoff instead of just a regular mechanical clutch. So, is this gonna be better or worse than the pretty much used universally with every other brand mechanical clutches? So what I'm gonna do is a very simple test. I'm gonna put every drill into the low speed, high torque mode, which is gonna be speed one on every single drill. I'm gonna put every single drill into clutch setting number one or whatever lowest clutch setting is available. And then we're gonna do use five screws and see which one sets all the screws up the highest and the most even. Because while they may set them all up high, we wanna make sure that we have an even test setting for all of these screws. So if some of them are setting them too far down or forgetting too much, if they look like a, maybe like a bar graph look, of course that's not optimal as well either. So let's get testing. Alright, first up we're going to start with the Makita XPH-12, one of my favorite drills of all time. It's kind of just a regular hammer drill from Makita. It's not subcompact, it's not the top end, it's just a regular affordable drill from Makita. So let's test this out, going to do five screws and see how well they do. We're going to be in, of course, low speed, high torque, drill mode, and setting number one in the clutch. After all these tests, I'm just going to hold down the trigger until the drill stops for me. Alright, the XPH-12 honestly didn't really do that great of a job. It kind of sunk some of the screws up a bit high. Other screws went all the way down. I want to see these screws up a lot higher. I want to be in the first, I'm in the first clutch setting here, so I definitely don't want to see these screws going all the way down. I want a really, really light clutch here. All right, let's move over to the Metabo HPT Subcompact. This is going to be your DS18 DDX. Let's see how well this does. Just like all the other ones, low speed, clutch setting number one. So once I start hearing that clutch hitting, I'm just gonna pull my hand off the trigger and pull the drill off the screw. All right, that looks great from that Metabo. All of them are rather nicely aligned there. They're up a lot higher. Much more, set much more sensitive clutch settings on the subcompact Metabo HPT. All right, let's try out the bigger brother of that Metabo HPT. This is going to be the DV36DA, the 36 volt hammer drill. Let's give this one a shot. Excellent. The larger hammer drill did exactly the same as the subcompact drill from Metabo HPT. Oh, this one is a little bit harder to hold. It's, you know, it's of course a heavier, more powerful drill, so it's not gonna be as sensitive, but it's still did an excellent job of sinking all those screws in to about the same height. And that's definitely what I'm looking for right there. Okay, now the one in question here, the Makita. This is the GPH01 here. This is the new XGT hammer drill. Of course, we're gonna do it in speed one. I got it set to drill mode and we are in clutch setting number one. So let's see how well this does. Now this one doesn't actually slip on the clutch. It's designed to just turn off when you get uh, the clutch setting engaged. So let's give this one a shot. Okay, so I've got four of the five there, about the same. Let's say that this one is just an outlier. Let's try one more screw and see if it can do it right at the same height as those four. Let's give this a shot here. Nope, that one's a little bit different too, so that's interesting. About 80% of the screws it'll do at exacting specifications there. So I'm gonna try one more just in case that was another outlier, but I don't think it is. Yeah, that one went down even farther. So in speed one, it's sinking them about this far or about this far. It's like it's not sure which one it wants to do. That's kind of odd. 
Okay, now let's change this test up a little bit. Let's try a lot longer screw. What I'm gonna do now is I'm only gonna change on the drills. I'm gonna set them all to clutch setting number three because some of the drills were able to sync this one near perfectly, just going in a little bit and then stopping it. So clutch setting number three should do about the same on the larger screws. Maybe you know, some of the drills have a bit you know, higher clutch settings on these where they're designed for larger screws. So let's see if that's the case. So I'm gonna do the exact same test with five larger screws and see what happens. And I'm going in the exact same order as I did with the first test with the Makita XPH-12. Just like I said before, we're gonna to go to clutch setting number three for all these drills. All the other settings are gonna remain exactly the same. All right, with these longer screws, it seems like the Makita is playing a lot better here. It's performing... Now look at that, it's really smooth here, keeping these exactly all at the same height in clutch setting number three. Well, that is fantastic. That Makita did an excellent job keeping all five here at the exact same height in clutch setting number three. So let's try the Metabo. All right, now for the subcompact Metabo, just like the Makita, we're going in clutch setting number three. Let's see if it can sink these all somewhat down, but, but yet keep them all even. All right, so it did a pretty good job. I'm seeing a bit farther down with the first two, definitely not as smooth as the Makita, and definitely didn't drive them down as far. Of course, this Metabo has definitely a more sensitive clutch setting, that's for sure, but it still did a pretty good job. It kept them all within about the same height here. All right, just as before, uh, clutch setting number three with the larger 36 volt Metabo hammer drill. This drill is definitely harder to control. I'm not pushing down really on this drill at all. It's just a heavier, more powerful drill. All right, there we go. Very good job, actually. A couple of them are a little bit farther down, but they're all about the same as the uh, subcompact Metabo. Definitely a harder drill to control when it comes to the lighter clutch settings on this. So let's try out now the Makita XGT with that electronic clutch. All right, now for XGT, got it in speed three now. Let's see how well it does. All right, definitely a bit more up and down here on this electronic clutch. Definitely not as consistent as some of the lighter clutches here. All right, let's try something a little different here. I wanna see a little bit of a versus. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my most accurate drill that I have here for the clutch settings so far, the Metabo HPT Subcompact. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two lines of three screws each. I'm gonna do clutch setting number one, I'm gonna do clutch setting number three, and I'm gonna do clutch setting number six. So let's see, it should look like a staircase going up and down there. I'm gonna do two rows, so we have basically two tests you can see, and I'm also gonna do the exact same thing with the XGT drill. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna start with the Metabo HPT first. All right, these first two are gonna be in speed, or clutch setting number one. All right, excellent job there. Now for the next two, I'm gonna do clutch setting number three. So these should go down a little bit farther than the first ones. That's actually not much of a difference there on these. Let's try the second one. All right, they're just a little bit farther down, not too much. Now I'm gonna go to clutch setting number six. Let's see how well that does. A little bit farther down, but not too much. Yeah, just a tiny bit farther down with these. That's gonna be clutch setting number six. So I've got one, three, and six. Let's try the Makita XGT and see how well that does. All right, these first two are gonna be in speed number one on the clutch, just matching right up to the Metabo HPTs. All right, next two are gonna be in clutch speed setting number three. Let's give that a shot. Also a little bit farther down, but even with the other Makita one. All right, now for clutch setting number six, let's give that a shot. Ooh, that one went down quite a bit farther there. All right, so the flashlight there is gonna be Metabo on this side, Makita on this side. 
So I'll turn this around a little bit so you can see just how well they both did. I think the Metabo definitely won there for consistency. However, though, it is a subcompact drill, so I'm not comparing the clutches. There's no way you can get a apples to apples clutch comparison here between two different brands, because of course these clutches are gonna be slightly different in every brand that they are. Just like chucks are gonna be different, motors are gonna be different. There's a lot of factors to consider there, but I think the biggest thing to take note here is consistency of these clutches. If you're setting the clutch to say clutch speed number five, you want that true to go down in that material as consistent as possible. Of course, there's gonna be slight differences in the screw and the material you're driving down, but consistency is really, really what matters there. So we can see the Makita on the left here. This one went down quite a bit farther in there, um, but the Metabo has been very consistent over all of these tests. And of course, you can tell the Makita has a less sensitive clutch because we have a bit more of a stair step there pattern than the Metabo using the same exact clutch settings of clutch setting number one, going down to three and six. So as we can see guys, of course, we have two different drills here. We've got a you know full-size hammer drill, we've got a subcompact drill. I'm not trying to compare these types of drills when it comes to, you know, we have the clutch settings that are different, but what we're trying to figure out is the consistency of those clutch settings. Now we saw how much different the electronic clutch is. It's not gonna be that mechanical slipping there. It's just gonna be an electronic shutoff. So it's up to you guys what you think, which is gonna be better. I'd like to hear your comments below. Um, let me know what you guys think um, when it comes to you know, these two different types of clutches. Um, I don't necessarily use clutches that much myself in drills, but it is very interesting to see just the differences there when it comes to electronic versus mechanical. Um, I will say one thing I noted from this test is definitely the smaller the drill, the more accurate the clutch setting seems to be on, of course, smaller screws. Um, when you go to the larger drills, I don't know, for me personally, I feel like the clutch becomes more and more useless because at what point am I using such large screws that I want to sink consistency that I can't just do with it maybe an impact driver in a slower speed setting. Um, when it comes to the smaller drills, you know, that's when I can sink much smaller screws that you can't really do very well with a impact driver even at a lower speed setting. So guys, leave a comment below. I'm really curious what you guys think. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay safe out there and take care.